guys, if you got to go, just freaking go. I don't care. Right? If you have to go, just go. Right? Any questions? Yeah. Say it again. It's saying missing right parentheses. So I went back, put it in, and it's still saying the same thing. You did what? Or then the first one says the name is already used by existing objects. I'll explain that in a minute. Right? Last thing I need to explain to you guys. Last thing. This is the last one. Indexes. Guys, for all you guys who can stay, thank you so much. This is the last one. Last thing we need to explain. I'll explain that after class. Okay. Right? Indexes. Listen to me. I cannot stress to you the power of index. It is so important that you understand what an index is and what it does. During your job interviews, you will always get this. Always get an index question so you best understand it. You best understand it. Hey, I keep running this select statement. This is how they'll tell you in an interview. A user complains that he runs this select statement, but the select statement is running so slow. What could be the problem? Ah. All you need to tell them is this. I would check to ensure that to see whether there's an index on the columns in the where clause of that select statement that they're running. I'll say it again. I will check to make sure, write it down, I will check to make sure that there's an index on the where clause in the select statement that they're running. I will check to make sure that there's an index on the columns in the where clause of the select statement that they're running. Right? What is an index exactly? Mr. Root, if I gave you a thousand pages, all these, a book, just not even a book, a thousand pages, front and back has a whole bunch of words. And I told you, you know what? I need you to find, let's say 5,000 pages. I need you to find the word sand. Every time there's a sand inside all these pages, I need you to find each occurrence. What would you have to do? No, I mean, I, there's no index. What would you have to there do? There isn't one. Go through each page. Until you find it. Yeah. How long do you think that's going to take you? A long ass time. But if you had an index, wouldn't that help? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just go through the back page, look for the index, right? And guess what? You find it, points you right to it. Listen to me. It's exactly the same way Oracle's going to do it. Without an index on the columns in the work clause, watch this. If I did select... Star from, thanks for being troopers, guys. HR employees, where? Okay, watch this. Here we go. Where SSN equals 11223. Somebody comes to me and says, hey, buddy, this is taking too long. Why is it taking so long? It's, it's, it's going forever. It's been like 10 minutes. Why is it so slow? The first thing you need to be thinking, is there an index on this column? Not, oh, select last name, comma, first name from HR employees where SSN equals this. Ah, uh -uh. not an index on this last name, first name. No, that's what I'm talking about. On this guy right here. That's inside the where clause. I said where clause, right? I said where clause, right? Yeah. Where clause, right here. That's the most important. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now watch this. If there is no index on the SSN column, Oracle, just like you, uh, Mr. Root would have to done, go through each page. Where's Root? What it would do a lot faster, but instead of it taking what it would have took, it would have took you what, what, maybe a month yeah. to go through. Yeah. It'll probably take Oracle like 30 minutes to go through, like 30 minutes, a lot faster than a month, but it's still super slow, right? But with an index, Oracle knows in what it would take it 30 seconds, 30 minutes ago. It'll take now with an index half a second, just like that. It knows exactly where to go. What exactly is it doing? 
Three more minutes, we out. Three more minutes, we out. I promise. Let's say, so as I said, it's what? One million. One million. Let's say it goes, the SSN goes all the way up to one million. This is you. Okay, fine. Forget so SSN. Sal. Goes all the way to one million. One, okay, one million, right? What it does is this. It creates what, when you create an index, it creates what we call leaf nodes, like a tree. You know what a tree, a tree has what? Branches. Branch, exactly, branches and leaves, right? So what it does is this. First branch, then it has leaf nodes. Then it would be, let's say, 500,000 to 1 million. Then 1 to 500,000. Create some more, some more. Create 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 some more. Just keep screen leaf notes until you said select star from HR to employees where what well, SSN where Sal equals let's say Sal equals 559. No, 5,559, right? So now, it's gonna look here. Let's say it's 3,000 to 6,000. Then it'll break this down. Let's say 5,000 to 6,000. Then it'll break this down. Let's say 5,000 to 5,560. Five, it's gonna break this one down. Let's say here. Then it'll break 5,560 five, into, let's say 10 different, five, five, six, one, two, three, four, until five, 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 nine, five, five, six, zero, right? So what it would normally have taken, watch this, what it would normally have taken, right? You, months to do, or 30 minutes to do without an index. Now, guess what, this is the power of the index. All this, by the way, is on this side. 5559, five, five, look, it doesn't even look, this, let's, say, let's say your table is a million rows. It doesn't even look on this side of the table anymore. It doesn't even look on this half of the table anymore. It goes straight down here. Picks it up. Power of index. Oh, I can't stress to you how important an index is. When they ask you on an interview, this select statement is slow. What could possibly be the problem? How would you, tell me how you go, go about fixing it. The first thing you need to be coming out of your mouth is, is there an index on the columns in the word clause? Is there an index? I need to find out whether or not there's an index on the columns on that, on that word clause. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'll explain all this later, how you find all that. But this is how you do that. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right. Now, last thing. How do you create an index? Right? Of course, I got to teach you how to create it. Right? Real easy, now it's just commands now. I've explained to you the importance of an index. How powerful it is. How it can be used in an in in, in interview. I just want to be done with project four today, right? How do you create an index? Real simple, right? What's the last table that we created? Was the class 12? What's the columns in class 12 again? What's the columns? Give me a column. How about do select start from class 12? Select start from class 12. Lazy students, lazy students. So I think because I need help. Okay, okay, not you. Um, what? Um, em employee number and employee name. Employee name, right? So everybody watch this. We'll do this. Create. What are we creating? What are we creating? What are we creating? Index. There you go. Create index. Let's call this index name. And, uh, let's do a class 12 underscore IDX on. Watch this. On class 12. Then what? Let's do e name. I just want to create an index on e name. So now anybody that does select star from blah blah where e name equals, there's an index on it. We're not going to have this problem because why? We've created an index on this column, right? You understand what I'm saying? One more minute, we're out of here. Huh? One more minute, we're out of here. Right? Who did this correctly? Who did this? Did it work? We're good, right? Very good. All right, now watch this. 
There are three types of indexes. There's bitmap, B-tree, B-tree, and composite. I'll explain this and we're out of here. B-tree is the default. So if you just do create index, it's assuming that you mean B-tree. If you just do create index, it's assuming you're, you're talking about B-tree. Now, B-tree is used for columns with high cardinality columns. What does it mean? A lot of letters. Like for instance, email would be one. E-name would be one. Because a lot of letters, right? Okay, that's B-tree. So high cardinality means a lot of letters inside that column, right? Bitmap is used for low cardinality. Low cardinality. Low cardinality. This just means, let's say, columns that's boolean, true or false. It's either T or F. Is it one of these, T or F? Right? T or F. Does that make sense? T or F. Is it either T or F? These are low cardinality, just not too many letters. Low cardinality, right? All right, so that's bitmap, that's B-tree. To create a bitmap index, you just simply do what? Create bitmap index. Just put a bitmap in front of it. Create bitmap index. If you just do create index, it just create. But if you type this, John, you gotta change the name. Okay. Put a two, right? Put a two. All right, last one. Composite index, here we go. Composite index. A composite index is when you put, a, you create an index on more than one, um, on two columns at a time, right? On two, you know, on this one, we just did it on one column. But now we want to do it on two columns at a time. I'm going to explain this and we're done. Create, create index, let's say, index name class, class 13 underscore IDX on class 12, then let's do, E name, comma, was it Epno? Epno, close quote. This is the last thing we're gonna do. I've already given you a everybody do this. This is a composite in this, do this. Do this. Create index, class 13 on this go IDX on class 12, open bracket, E name, comma, Epno. Who did it? Okay, now this is the last thing I'm gonna explain. Class composite, I know, I know. Is this really the last thing? That I promise. <laughs> I, mean, I gotta be at work at midnight. I, be at I promise, night. this is the last one we're gonna do, I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. Now watch this, everybody watch this. Watch this. I promise you this is it. If you guys give me exactly 60 seconds, I'm done. If you don't interrupt me, select star from hr.employees where ename equals Joe and apno equals two. Watch this, everybody look, watch this. This is a composite index.